Jersey restaurant, Bohemia, making his welcome return to the show. It's Mr. Sean Rankin. Thank you. Not beans on the menu for you. Rabbit. Yes. So yes, tell today. us about what you're going to do with a rabbit. Okay, so I've pre prepped one. Um, I'm taking the two loins off the back of the bone, wrapped them in pancetta, wrapped them in cling film. So I know you want to get that on. Get them on because they're about six, seven minutes steaming. So we're okay. going to pop them into a steamer. But you're going to show us how to make that anyway. So. Absolutely, yeah. Running through the little couscous here, because there's not a lot of ingredients on here. There's not, no. So we've got, obviously, the grain there, the couscous grain. We've got some fresh herbs, coriander, some tarragon, some dill, sun-dried tomatoes, uh, some pinecones, which you've got to toast off, please. Yep. And some olives. Keep the couscous quite chunky. Now, the couscous is a manufactured product, isn't it? Whereas, sort of, bulgur wheat, you soak. Yeah. Couscous, you add the water when it's still hot. The water, too, yeah. So yeah. we're going to heat some stock up first. Uh, when that's nice and hot, add that to the grain. Um, and then let that just steam it with some cling film on top for around about sort of four or five minutes. I'm on it. Um, and then finish that with lemon juice and olive oil. Right, I'll do so that. So I'll just quickly show everybody at home how to prep this rabbit. You can buy a rabbit now in this, this form, just the saddle, if you wish to. Yeah. And um, I think, you know, rabbit's quite an understated sort of protein, I think. Um, it's virtually fat-free. Um, and I think people just, you know, are a bit scared or a bit put off by it, I think, to be honest. Well, I think, because really, when you look at it, it's quite bitty, don't you think? There's the legs and everything else. Yeah, it, it can look a bit like that. And I think a lot of the time is when the butcher hangs it up, sort of like, yeah, yeah for, all, for all eyes to see. It's not exactly, yeah. Uh... Because you get a lot of that in the markets in China, because you, you do it slightly differently well, in China, you know, do you? It's, they say Chinese eat everything on four legs except the table. And they mean that. <laughs> <laughs> but we eat that in Sichuan, and we actually smoke it over a camphor wood. Are you really? Yes. And it's, right. it's really delicious. And how's that, how's that served then? Uh, it's served actually at room temperature. Uh, you know, it's sort of like an imperative, and you uh, serve it with like, things like you know, nuts and rice wine. See, and this is what just... I love about Chinese food. We'd have olives and you have smoked rabbit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, you've got the saddle here. So, so yeah, this is the saddle. I'm just trimming them off now. So you can see the actual two loins. And there's a slight little sort of membrane there. We just need to get rid of that. Put that over there. So that's your couscous. Get that rid of that out of the way. Okay, so for this, just top and tail the loins, like so. And then I've got some pre-sliced pancetta. You can use palm ham if you want to. Yeah. Um, what about using just sort of normal bacon? You can do, yeah. Just make sure you batten it out and it's really nice and thin. And you almost want the dry cured bacon, not the wet cured bacon. That's yes, yeah. That, isn't it? yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the way it's basically just cooking the rabbit like this, steaming it first, and then taking it out just keeps it really, really nice and moist. A lot of people think, oh, I'm not going to cook rabbit because it ends up being too dry and too tough. Yeah. But this way, best of both worlds, you get a nice steamed rabbit inside and a nice crispy pancetta or bacon on the outside. So there we go. That's now, that I mentioned bit. the saddle here, but the, the legs, you can use confit those down, salt them down. Yeah, salt them down, nice marinade, thyme, garlic, lemon juice. Um, you know, uh, give that sort of 24 hours maybe in the fridge um, and then cook them slowly. Um, yeah in a stock or in oil if you want to, yeah. uh, around about 100 degrees. Um, so we're just going to cling film that like that. Cut that in half. Now why the cling film? Just to hold its shape? Just to that? hold the shape, yeah. yeah. That's it. And as you can see there, that's exactly what I've just put in the steamer, which is one little parcel like that. Right. Yeah. Just are, they, um, them. Are, they, are they special rabbits or can you eat any rabbit? Um, <laughs> special these, rabbits. These special rabbits. Supermarket <laughs> rabbits. <laughs> no, only supermarket rabbits. I think that's a, a, a well, you treat conversation you, we don't want to get into. <laughs> you, treat, you treat wild rabbits slightly differently, wouldn't you? Slightly you would, different yeah, flavour. Yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. It's a lot more. I think it's, it's just a lot more stronger. So there's a rabbit. I'll just put put that there. The farm rabbit is tender. More right. tender. More tender. Yeah. And this is new shopping. Okay. So next up, I've brought some calamari. Yeah. Calamari this time of year is, is great and it's, it's well in season as the water's cooled down. But with this heat, nothing's really cooled down, has it, to be yeah, honest? Yeah, exactly. Well, you've brought the weather with you, haven't you, really? Yeah. From, from Jersey. But the, Jersey's got its own little microclimate, hasn't it, there? It does, yeah. yeah. We're, we're very fortunate. Um, you know, Jersey's uh, blessed with, uh, you know, great sunshine all the way through the year. Did you get over to Jersey this, this time? I didn't actually didn't, this did time. You? No, no, I, I um, remember back in September when I was uh, January when I was on. You were on about flying over, weren't you? I tried to fly over, but you because it's got, you're on a little microclimate. It's got you get a lot of sort of sea fog. Yeah, over there, don't very you? much. So you get trapped on the island. You do a lot. Lost. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, but it, yeah, the, the fog does come down, but uh, we are blessed with you know with amazing sunshine and a great climate. Hence our produce. Jersey, you know, obviously, you know it's 
well known for its Jersey Royals, yeah. you know, and great produce. But you're very close to France, aren't you? Really? We are, yeah. We're only sort of an, an hour by ferry, really. Yeah. And straight into St. Malo, which is a great link for us to get into Europe. So there, all I've done there is clean the calamari, yeah. um, cut it in half, and I've scored it on the back um, just to help with the caramelisation process when we cook it in a nice hot pan. Is this when you're cooking it, you basically stop it from being tough? It's a good way of actually preparing it, because yeah. if people do overcook it by accident, it should... Cook it fast or cook it slow, yeah. that's what I think. But not in the middle bit? Not in the middle bit, no. Yeah. So again, just score the outside, like that, little sort of, little nicks. How's the couscous doing? Are we good? We're getting there. We've got some lemon and you want some olive oil in there, I take it? Please, yeah. There you go. So there we go. That's the calamari prepped. Just some plain olive oil. Now the restaurant itself, I know you use a lot of seasonal produce, but fish is a big thing on your menu as well, isn't it? It is, yeah. I mean, we're blessed again, you know, with great shellfish, crab, lobsters. We've got um, uh, our own sort of oyster beds from the, uh, the sort of the Royal Bay area in, in um, Grooville. So, yeah, we're blessed all over, really. Yeah. Um, can't wait for Jersey Royal season and asparagus season to start as normal. Um, but, we've, yeah, great restaurant's gone really well this year. Um, you know, eight years on, it's um, going really well. There you go. Remember, if you'd like to ask a question on the show, you can call this number. That's 0876 41 41 41. Of course, cost 10p a minute from beating Line Night. Mobiles and other networks may vary. And if you get to put your questions to us live a little later on. And don't forget, you can find Sean's recipe, along with all the other studio recipes from today's show, bbc.co.uk forward slash... Recipes, right? So we've got our. Uh, oh, have we got the olive oil there? Right, sound. Yeah. Yep. A little touch of olive oil onto the calamari. So the rabbit's it. had six minutes in there. Yeah, six Explain minutes. The rabbit's had. So. There your herbs in there. Salt, pepper, oil, and. Um, that's about ready. Lemon juice. That's about it. That's really. correct. Yeah. So salt the calamari. Have you got the pepper mill there? Yep. Yes, sir. Thank you. There you go. Uh, a little bit of black pepper just before it goes in the pan. Get your pan nice and hot. And we'll cook that now. And in this pan, we're going to just. Cook the rabbit because that's about ready now. So Freddy's wondering where the baked beans are. <laughs> yes, isn't it? Yeah. So all goes into the pan for the calamari. Rabbit comes out. Can you unwrap that uh, rabbit, unwrap please, that, James? Yeah, and I'll cook the calamari in here. Just taste that. All right. Is it all right? <laughs> Good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go. There's your little rabbit. Right, calamari goes in. These are little, a few of the tentacles as well. Yeah. Quite like the tentacles. I'll bring that over there for you so you can cook Thank it. Thank you. There you go. Nice hot pan. Put that one on there. A handle hot. <laughs> so some butter into the calamari, please, James. Thank you. Rabbit's going in. Nice hot pan. We're just going to get the pancetta nice and crispy. Yep. This will only take about a minute or so. This just to crisp up the bacon, that's all you're yeah. trying to do? Yeah. yeah. Is there any butter in there, James? I'd put it, yeah, I'll put a little bit in for you. <laughs> and a little bit more for extra measure. So this is where you're on about the speed of it. So if you just want a simple snack, yeah. calamari, lemon juice, a few herbs, done. done really. Salt, pepper. Maybe a little bit of lemon or a little bit of uh, garlic. Or black quite bean nice sauce well. in a wok. <laughs> black bean sauce in a wok. Ching, ching, ching. So while that's yeah. roasting, I'll get the plate. There's your calamari. Super. So really, just a plate. It's a nice warm couscous salad. Really simple to do this. You don't want to overcomplicate things because the rabbit's got really so a nice delicate flavour. A little bit of couscous on there. Pop that there. And then with the rabbit, just cut that into sort of nice medallions. And you can see there, it's just sort of steamed. Perfectly cooked. Perfectly cooked. Great smell coming from it. And you can see how simple it is. Just drop that bit, but never mind. Sorry about that. OK. Onto is this there. one of these ingredients that people should try it? Try it at least once. Definitely, if they like it. definitely, absolutely. Yeah. I think it really is understated. A few bits of calamari on top. We don't need all that, do we? Of course, squid and pork go well together, so why not put... Calamari as well. Very yeah. sort of Spanish sort of flavours, very tapasy flavours. Yeah. A little bit of pan juices on top. And there we go. So remind us what that is again? We've got <laughs> saddle of rabbit cooked in pancetta, roasted with calamari and a couscous salad.
Looks good to me, but does it taste Ooh. good? There you go. There you go. There you, there you go. Mm. Are you saying, have you tried rabbit before? No, I feel slightly guilty because we used to have a pet rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Well, now you know where it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Frisky. But <laughs> frisky. Oh, it's <laughs> frisky about it's getting this worse year, now, Tell us what you think. It's nice, huh? Yeah, what are you looking at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, people often say he's like chicken. chicken. I don't think it's anything like he's chicken. He's not convinced. <laughs> it's yeah. quite salty, isn't it? That's, that's the pancetta. Yeah. So keep, we, we haven't seasoned the rabbit, so the, the, the flavours are coming from the pancetta on that side. Yeah. Happy with that? Yeah. yeah there happy. you go. Well, you've got to pass it down. So oh, no, it oh, yeah, you can <laughs> eat it all if you want. <laughs> I think we've got a comfort over here. So, to go with this, we need some wine to go with it. We've sent our wine expert, Ollie Smith, to Sussex this week. So, what do you choose to go with Sean's super squid and rabbit? I've come to Lewis Castle and I've brought my best friend, Barney. He's going to help me sniff out some top wines for today's show. Get up for it, Barnes. <laughs> Barney, fetch. Thanks, Barney. With Sean's rocking rabbit, it could be an opportunity to pair up a lighter style of red, such as this Moulin Avant from Beaujolais. However, with the clever addition of the squid from the sea, I'm setting sail towards a white wine, and I'm selecting the rather fragrant Vigna Costera 2010. You could dab it behind your ears. This wine comes from Galicia in northwestern Spain. It's a green and verdant area, and it's influenced by the cool Atlantic Ocean, which gives a shiver my timbers freshness to the grapes. This is the kind of modern, exciting Spanish wine that I absolutely love. Viva Vino! Oh, that lemony butter in the dish, along with the salty pancetta, they're crying out for that freshness, brightness, a twist of natural acidity. You've also got the fragrant herbs laced through the Moroccan couscous. For that, I'm loving the subtle aromatic twist that these great varieties bring. And finally, the concentration of the sun-dried tomatoes, the intensity of the black olives, the richness of the chicken stock. For that, you need a wine with a bit of gentle thrust. Sean, here's to your radiant rabbit. Cheers! Cheers indeed. Joined by his dog as well. So, yeah. what do you reckon? <laughs> I think it's great. Yeah. Nice and fruity, isn't it's it? It's great. And uh, I think under eight quid, a bargain one for that, really. Particularly goes very well with that. Yeah. And even if you just wanted to have the salad itself, just with the calamari, and you weren't going to go for the rabbit, yeah. I think it'll still do that. Happy? The wine? Yeah. It's all right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bite it myself. <laughs> <laughs> bite yourself. No, no. Well, no, so it's, it's, it's a bit fruity for me. It's a bit fruity. It's a bit fruity. I'd sooner go for like a chardonnay. All right. Okay. But it's, it's nice, though. It's, it's good with that. I think it works yeah. well with that. Girls? Yeah. Yep, like the wine and the food. Now, okay. Ken, you're a wine connoisseur. What do you reckon? Well, um, especially with the squid, it's uh, really perfect. Yeah. And it actually goes very well with the ramen. Yeah, oh. There you go. Right, now you could be joining us here at the chef table sometime in the series and tasting food just like this and drinking wine like this as well. All you have to do is write to us with your name, address, and most importantly, a daytime phone number. Our address is Saturday Kitchen, PO Box 31 8 SE11 4XS. So get rice and don't forget to put a stamp on your